days are slow, I stop by the beach or a park, get out, stretch my legs, think about life, wondering what it is I really am supposed to be doing, even though I wish I could be directing films, writing films on a national level, sharing my creative insights with the world. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to my vlog series. I'm going to tell you the truth. Listen, today is a slow day for ride sharing. I've had one ride and I've been out here a couple hours. So what I did was I went by the beach because if I'm going to be out here, I'm going to get dressed and do all that and not get no rides. I'm going to get some footage. Okay. I'm going to make sure my time is used wisely now. And so I just stopped and pulled over to make this episode and uh, just say it's hard out here. And the one thing you have to be sure of is not to let it make you go crazy because that is the ulterior motive is to make us think we cray cray. You know what I mean? You have to just... Know that God is going to bring us out. God brought us here for a reason. And we may not always know the reason or understand why, but there is a reason behind it. We just have to figure it out. Now, again, as I'm saying that, I'm trying to figure out how long, Jesus, how long, Jesus Christ, how long? Hello. I hate that saying, well, he won't give us more than we can bear. I ain't been bearing shit. I ain't been bearing it. I, I ain't been bearing it. I've been enduring it, but I ain't been bearing it because I don't understand. I don't understand. People always tell me I'm strong. I'm optimistic. I'm always positive. Well, that's the way I was brought up. Okay. That's the way I was brought up to be those things. And those things are really who I am, the root of who I am. So I don't know any other way to be. But baby, let me tell you, I cry some cries of tears, okay? I have shed uh, many tears. I got enough tears. That's why I got them bags under my eyes. I have cried enough for everybody in the United States of America. Believe that. Believe that. And so now my new prayer is to bind and destroy all the demons and the people who are out here trying to keep me down. I ain't going to lie. That's my prayer. I want them out the way. I'm sick of them. I, I ain't had enough years of them. I'm sick of them. So I want them gone, Lord. I want them gone, Jesus. I want them gone. I'm minding my own business. I don't know. I hate thinking about it. And I think about it a lot. I hate the stress it brings. I hate how it makes me think when I'm not in a happy mood. I'm just not a person who likes to be in that state of mind. You know what I mean? And that's why I live vicariously through films. That's why I love film and TV. That's why I went to school to learn how to make films and television shows because that was the only thing that saved my sanity. You understand what I'm saying? I lived vicariously through Bruce Willis, John McClane, whooping ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna even lie to you. Lethal Weapon, Mel Gibson and Danny Glover, I loved how they were not going to give up and let the bad guy get away. I live vicariously through those people whooping the bad guy's ass. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I do. That's why I love film. That's why I write scripts like that. People always, why you write scripts like that? Because I love to see the bad people get their ass whooped, blowed up in the movies. You know what I mean? And I do write, I, I can write romance because I love love. I, I think I have, it's a semi-romantic comedy. It's a romantic, 
or a dramatic thriller, you know. I can write drama because Lord knows I've been dramatic all my life. I've been through drama all my life. When people try to degrade me or belittle me on my gifts of knowing about the film or TV industry, and I'm, I never know enough. I, I, I don't know everything, but the stuff that I do know, everybody thinks they can do what I do. Well, I don't think I can do what you do. I don't want to do what you do. Have damn time, I don't want to do what I do. But I love it, you know, and that's why I'm I'm doing my YouTube. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment, leave a like, share it with your friends. I am going to create my vlogs and make my creative brain keep ticking because that's all I have. I love sitting there, putting stuff together, layers, creating the music behind it, finding the music, creating the titles, figuring out how I want the story to go. It don't always go the way I want it to go, but it's going. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep meditating, keep praying, and I'm gonna keep talking about my skill set. People hate for us to talk about what we can do, and they think we're bragging. I'm not bragging. I'm just letting you know what I can do because apparently that's the only way you'll know. How else you going to know if I don't say what I do, what I love, what I like. People who play music, they play music 24-7. You know what I'm saying? People who like to read, they read all day and night. People who like to cook is always something on the stove. You see what I'm saying? People who knit and crochet, what they doing when you see knitting and crocheting all day, all night? So that that's all I'm saying about that. You know, that's what I love. And I pray that I get some type of breakthrough for that real soon. Even if it's just selling one of my scripts to somebody that I know that will be productive with it. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm going home. Wasn't no rides today. I didn't even know, y'all, I didn't even know it was the 1st of July. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I didn't know. So, okay, I'm going to end this. I'm going home. I got to use the bathroom and get to editing. Thank y'all for watching.